Hey everybody, what's up? This is Cody with Old Iron Garage. Today, we're gonna tear into this diesel motor. So this one's a little bit unique. It's out of a 2006 Jeep Liberty CRD. This motor was offered in the Liberties for 2005 and 2006 in the US. Uh, they were offered in more years overseas, but these things are pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at it. So these motors were offered in the United States in Jeep Liberties. They, they are called the CRD motor. It's a, it's an Italian motor. It's called a VM Matori, I believe it is. I'm terrible with names, so I may have butchered that. These are great little motors. They, they have great power. They're a little four cylinder, turbo diesel, intercooled. They put out more power than uh, the common V6s that come in these Jeeps, Jeep Liberties. You also get like more than double the power. So we actually have uh, an 06 Jeep, it, had, it came in with a bad engine, and this motor came out of a junkyard to replace it. So there's a couple things that we need to address before it goes into the into that Jeep. A couple things to, to remove, delete, fine tune, and standard maintenance on it. One thing with these motors is that the timing belt needs replaced either every six years or every 100,000 miles, whichever comes first and considering that this came out of a junkyard we really don't know when that happened so that's definitely one thing we need to address these egr systems here they have a tendency to really clog up the system and so we need to dive into that get it all cleaned out make sure it is functioning properly like it did when it was brand new and then a couple other things you know replace the rocker arms that's a common upgrade on these motors and just things like that dive into it see if there's anything wrong address it as needed build up from there and make a nice little motor that we could put into that that livery that we have so stay tuned keep watching if you if you like this video and for this one, you know, we're just going to get it tear torn down and there'll be more videos coming up of getting it rebuilt and parts used and some how to's. So stay tuned. Let's get to it. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it addressing this motor. So thank you, everybody, for your support and let's get into it. OK, so the first thing we're going to get rid of is this wiring harness and then we're going to take off all the accessories and any hoses that have been cut. Um, that, that we're not going to need uh, or will get replaced. We're going to take off this turbo as well. We have a new one for it, a better one that we'll talk more about when we reassemble this. Um, and then the EGR system, we need to get it off so we can get it cleaned up. Um, I know a lot of people will delete these, but the EPA frowns upon that. And so not something that we're gonna do we're just gonna get it all cleaned up first we gotta take it off in order to do so so we can put it back on and be compliant here we go This right here is exactly why we need to clean out the EGR system. It's kind of hard to see, but that is completely filled with crud. And this is just rolling around on the inside of it, for instance, and there is a lot more left in there that, again, it's kind of hard to see in the camera. But, I mean, that's a, what? <clears throat> two inch diameter hole and it's at least half filled with engine soot and crud that is just restricting all the airflow going into the motor so this definitely needs cleaned out we need to clean out the EGR system and it'll run like a brand new motor
Okay, so we just about have the entire engine tore down to where we need it to be. Uh, we are going to be replacing the rocker arms. We got the front cover off so we get to the timing, timing belt here. Uh, to do that, you need a special tool to lock the two cam gears up here. Um, you'll see us put that on. Uh, but first, you have to find top dead center on the motor. There's a witness mark here on the crankshaft end. And basically, you, you, uh, you find it, you point it straight up on the engine. And then from there, you have to rotate it another 90 degrees towards the driver's side of the motor. And then from there, what you have to do is you have to put a six millimeter Allen key into this hole here on the driver, on the passenger side. And basically it has to go through this all the way through to the flywheel. And I don't know if you can see it on the camera, so here's the here's the end of the Allen key. Uh, it's a little loose, so if I hold it in place, basically you want it to be flat, uh, the best way to put it. And if it is like that, then you are ready to start tearing into the cam camshafts up top. So keep watching, and you'll see how we do that.
Okay, and that completes the teardown of this motor. Everything looks pretty good. It's a little dirty, of course. I mean, it's, that's what's gonna happen with an engine when you tear it down. So those parts need to get cleaned up. Next video, it's going to be about building it back up and all the parts that we're using for it. So stay tuned. Again, just uh, some things that we did here. We took the turbo off, the, the head, the camshaft, sitting right there on the ground. This right here is our bucket of parts that we're not gonna be reusing for this motor. And these are the ones that we're gonna keep. So overall, pretty good teardown. Engine looks really good. My advice to you guys, if you're worried about building up a motor like this or tearing into it, it may look overwhelming at first, but you know, just take it apart piece by piece. Uh, don't focus on the whole. Just focus on one piece at a time. That definitely simplifies it. And if you just take it one step at a time, don't be in a rush and you'll do just fine. So if you guys like what's going on with this, again, please like and subscribe and follow along with this build so that you can see it all, all done.